I, I have a question about the the sniper teams that were uh, deployed in Pumpkin Fest. Can't tell you much. Uh, who, who it's outside of my. I don't have any direct authority over that. If I mm. did, I probably would have done it the same way. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. Mr. McLean, is the city being hypocritical and crossing, or you know, coming after the you? Robin Hooders? Good. How are you? Good. Hey, glad Can't to hear complain. it. Good. Glad to hear you're not complaining. I watched you on Black Sheep Rising the other night. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's an interesting show. <laughs> yeah, that's you one of the. You seem to be uh, the person that actually kind of facilitates between the other two fellows. Uh, which one did you watch? Ah, the most recent one. The so 23. Yeah. Did you like the intro? I didn't see the intro, I have to admit oh. to that. I tuned in after you already started. You had a little puppy in your hands and you yeah. were petting the puppy. So, so um, I'm not answering your questions. You're not going to answer anyway. The city Hi, has Ridley. never even... You're not going to answer my question? If I, I understand I'm correctly. I'm not going to answer any questions I don't want to. Okay. Well, I'm not working right this minute, but what can I say? What well, do you have for a question? I, I have a question about the, the sniper teams that were uh, deployed in Pumpkin Fest. can't tell you much. Uh, who, who it's outside of my, I don't have any direct authority over that. If I hmm. did, I probably would have done it the same way, but you know, I don't really have a lot to say about that because it's outside my purview. Well, well, who, In other who, words, it's not something that somebody comes to me and says, can you do this or do that? So a safety kind of environment is created. It stays at a law enforcement level. So, so there was like no briefing or any uh, documents, no, to, uh, like a briefing or? No, no. So the that's, police that's, the chief? just comes up with a security plan and then I he think implements based it? on all that they know working with different um, agencies and law enforcement agencies they come up with their own plan who, each each event carries a different plan who, I can't I, tell you much more about that who, which, which uh, organization were they with you know I can't tell you I don't know well the, the issue I have is uh, maybe not necessarily the fact that have a good one. they were there is to, to me the more disturbing aspect of it was they weren't clearly identifiable as police officers yeah, I, you know it won't be the first time if they were there, and because certainly way back when President Clinton's came to came to Keene, then sure they were using teams around the city where well, they it were would be located. the first pumpkin fest, though, correct? Well, you know, this is the first pumpkin fest following the Boston Marathon event, so there's a heightened sense of alert, a heightened sense of security. But it's, but the Sentinel ran an article the day before where they kept, talked with KPD Captain DeRusso, and he said there is no threats to the event. They probably weren't direct threats to the event, but that doesn't necessarily mean there won't be a threat to the event. So, so to your knowledge, there's no threats or anything? I, I wouldn't be in the loop for that, Jim. That's what I've already explained mm -hmm. to you. You know, the Emergency Operations Center and all the policing and security measures are handled between so, various law So enforcement. basically, you're, you're telling me that there were, you know, un Clo you know, plain clothes no, I'm people telling with you, guns and you had no idea about it. I'm not telling you that. What I'm telling you is any security measures are handled through the police department and other law enforcement and, and that's where it needs to be. That's exactly where it needs well, to be. Well, a lot of the patrol officers... Not, that's, let's move on to another one. On the street, we're even aware of I have plenty of other ones. I know. Well, give, me, <laughs> give me another one. Go ahead, Dave. Okay, well, we'll now, thank you. Here. This edition of the Ridley Report was brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. If you were to go to the State House and do this, then you would step on the toes of a Liberty Alliance member because they're all over the place at the State House. They are there fighting for your freedom and they need your help. Visit the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org and join them. Or maybe I should say, join us, because I am a member. nhliberty.org By the way, if you haven't moved to New Hampshire yet, this is just another glimpse of what you're missing. <laughs>